Hi, this is the of the table. My name is Sir Angela, and okay. Yes, we have a different look at their setup right now because, well, I kind of re rearranged my desk yesterday before, um, well, today being Friday, yesterday being Thursday. Hopefully, you guys are seeing this by like today being Friday, hopefully. Anyway, so I kind of rearranged my desk a little bit, and, um, yeah. So, I, I, want, I wanted to have my desk. You're currently on my desk right now, well, the camera and tripod are, actually. Instead of being on my little, um, handheld storage system, because, well, well, a lot of people, like, a lot of other YouTubers I've learned have, like, their cameras, they're facing their cameras along with their, against the wall, but, well, especially when making reaction videos, I find it annoying that I have to look up, and, well, Turn to the left every time I want to talk to you guys. So, yeah, it's a, I don't, I don't want to. It's, it's, I just find it a little annoying. I know I'm lazy, but I kind of rearranged my desk and yeah. Oh, let me let me show you. I'm gonna get a little um action cam right here on my phone, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so it's not very organized. So um, but it's kind of like my personality. Hot ah, mess. Here we have some decorations. We have um, stuff that was originally on the desk in front of my first monitor, which I use as a tower. And hello, the my reflection. Here we have the camera and a tripod. And ooh, we have a little tripod sloth. Her name is Susie. And here we have my switch. With, with a wax melter behind it because when I'm editing and uploading I like that in my room to smell like currently blueberry pancakes and here's my keyboard and mouse and there's the first monitor oh in case you, any of you were noticing these are all my amiibos don't at me now that we got that out of the way on today's video <clears throat> sorry my voice <clears throat> sorry I have something in my throat anyway so, today's video is not actually talking about the desk setup. Right next to me, I don't know if you guys can see it, we have the Pokemon table right here, and we have some Funko Pops that I like to talk about. Now, this video is basically a Funko, a Funko Pop superlatives, not so many air quotes. So yeah, today's video is going to be about that, like my first Funko Pop, my most expensive Funko Pop, my most fa my favorite Funko Pop in terms of looks, and my most cherished Funko Pop. There's a difference. First, <clears throat> in terms of backstory, and the least valuable Funko Pop I have in my collection. So let's get started with the most valuable Funko Pop. I wasn't gonna start with the first one, but I just thought I'd tell you guys about it now. So, most valuable Funko Pop. It's actually a tie, believe it or not. It's a tie between two Funko Pops. One of them being the 10 inch Eevee Funko Pop, which well, you can see by back there, and yeah, and but I was I was gonna feature that one too, but then I realized well it's a 10 inch Funko Pop, it, of course it's gonna be expensive, so I decided to feature just the standard sized Funko Pops in this one. So and this one's gonna be a real shock to you guys. My most valuable Funko Pop actually is a dual set, well of two, well, one's a small, really tiny, like, this big Funko Pop sidekick, like, I, I don't know Dragon Ball, I know what I'm talking about, but I can't remember their names, Jiatsu or something, I don't know, it's like a Dragon Ball, it's like a, I'm just gonna show you, it's, believe it or not, Snoopy in Woodstock, I know, right, like, I got these as a birthday gift, or no, a Christmas gift, from my older sister back when they were released and new in like 2015 I think maybe it was 2016 I can't remember but yeah they're not as expensive as like the what what's that one called um they're not as exp they're not as expensive as the original clown Dumbo or the Clockwork Orange Glow Chase Funko Pops they're, they're nothing like that I don't own really any really extremely rare Funko Pops. But yeah, these are still pretty pricey if you try to find them today. Let's talk a bit of yellow on them. Yellow flake, purple on them. Anyway, these two combined 
along with the 10 inch EV, are $34 total. Yeah. So yeah, they're not as expensive as a lot of other Funko Pops I've seen. They're not worth like hundreds of hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars, but it's the best I can do. Plus it was a gift, so it also means a little bit to me. But oddly enough, the Charlie Brown one is worth less than 10, which I find really weird. But anyway, let's move on to my, um, let's move on to my least, my least expense, my, my, my least expensive Funko Pop. And this actually is a shock because it's an exclusive for a subscription box. For those unaware, it's from Loot Crate, but from the December 2015 Loot Crate. Gosh, that was four and a half years ago almost. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so yeah, it's the Han Solo Snow Gear, and he's also a bobblehead. I got him in a Loot Crate from December 2015. And he's exclusive because he's wearing the snow gear from, I believe, but the movie at the time was The Force Awakens. I, I'm not sure. I'm not a big fan of Star Wars. Roast me in the comments for that. But yeah, Han Solo. He's actually worth about, according to my Funko app, four bucks. There are other Funko Pops which are worthless, like not any value at all, but. Well, in terms of, well, one, there are some that are worth less also, but they're not even Funko Pops, and one has no trending value yet. But seriously, the worth, the most, the, I can't, I couldn't find one that was, like, worthless. It's, like, worth zero bucks. And it was from a Hot Topic exclusive Crunchyroll box. It looked like a bento box, and he had, like, Funko Pop, Funko related stuff in it. It was the Mob Cycle 100 pencil pouch with matching pencils. Literally worthless. Which I, I thought it was, I thought I'd share that pack. I thought it was interesting. So yeah. Next item we're going to talk about is my first ever Funko Pop, which I feel like I talked about it, but I don't know if I ever explained it. I don't know. But it is from our, it, speak, it's also from Loot Crate, from about a couple months prior. It is the October 2009, 2015, sorry, October 2015, Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future. Lost the train of thought, sorry. He, um, he's different from the other Doc Brown because, well, this guy has his lab coat, and the original Doc Brown, I think, has a tracksuit? I think that's what it's called? I don't know. I never watched Back to the Future. But, anyway, anyway. This, this guy, he, I got him in my first Loot Crate from October 2015 because, for those who haven't seen Back to the Future 2, that is the time when, that is the time frame when Doc Brown and, and Marty, that's his name, went to this, that year, that time in that year, I don't remember the day, I think it was the 19th or the 20th, 22nd, I think it's the 22nd. I'll, I'll edit it in the time frame, you know what I mean, for those who, those who don't know, like I do. Anyway. So yeah, Dr. Emma Brown, he is my first ever Funko Pop. He's pretty cool, honestly, like... And he even has, like, little plastic things on his goggles, which I find a really cool detail. I thought it was cool. Anyway. Now... Hmm. I think I'll go with my favorite Funko Pop as of lately. And it's actually, for those who have seen one of my latest Funko Pop videos, you would know, you know that, you know that this one, this one is, is my favorite one out, out of all of them. And that, it, for those who have seen it, for those who haven't seen it, it's Milton the Toaster. This guy looks really cool. Like, I'm honestly shocked, and I, I didn't know, I didn't even mention this in the video because I didn't know at the time. This guy sold out in an hour. An hour. That's, or less. Like, I got lucky when I got him. So yeah, it's, I thought it was pretty cool, like, I had to order him because, like I said in that video, I'm a huge fan of Pop-Tarts, brown sugar cinnamon is my all-time favorite, and is the best flavor, fight me on that, I dare you. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I like, I like Milton and all, and he has to be my favorite one, because it, it, it brings back childhood memories of, my, of me enjoying my first Pop-Tart, which, yeah. I mean, I, I really like him because of, well, 
that reason, it, it, it I like, like Pop-Tarts, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I know I was wondering, I don't know about Doc Brown's estimated value, but Milton's uh, tied for second alongside my 6-inch Goro Pop Vinyl figure. He, he's valued at, at my second most valuable pop, Funko Pop, $32. It's close, but not, not quite the most valuable one. Moving on. Now, before we get to the last Funko Pop, which is my most cherished Funko Pop, I would say it's my favorite, but I just like Milton too much. <laughs> but this one is, is my most cherished Funko Pop. It's, it's, it's my, Milton might be my favorite because of bringing back childhood memories of, or bringing back nostalgia and enjoying, I like Pop-Tart that much, but this next one, I like, it's like my most cherished Funko Pop because, mainly because of the backstory. So yeah, there's kind of, there's a really, really heartwarming story about this Funko Pop, and that is, and it's actually the only, the only Funko Pop I've yet to unbox to this day. And that is, let me that real quick, the Entertainment Earth exclusive Rainbow Batman series, the green one. Now, there's a, I actually just recently got the blue Entertainment Earth exclusive Rainbow Batman series, as in, there's like six colors right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's six colors, I got the blue one recently, but this was my first one. One of, it's not the first one that goes without brown, but this one I got for my birthday around the first year, so it was really close. So, yeah. There's actually a really touching, heartwarming story about this. I, I don't know if this is, I don't know if I should feature this because, well, I don't know if there will be a trigger warning, but get the issues ready because this gets emotional. So it was my 17th birthday, I think, and well, pr a year before this, we had recently lost a family friend to cancer. I would say her name, but it, I would say her name, but I don't want her haunting me. And yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Anyway, a family friend, their daughter had recently died of cancer, and she was into with my little sister's best friend, like. They were tight, like literally, quite literally. So, so basically, her, her mom and stepdad went to go get me a birthday gift, and and basically, her favorite color was the color green, and her favorite superhero was Batman. So they thought, eh, might as well get her, might as well get get him a green Batman in memory of her. So. Yeah, but this is a but this is the craziest thing right here. Not only, but when they pick that up, well, before I show you this item, for those who are of the Christian faith, like I am, you you would know about this thing called pennies or coins from heaven. So basically, what that means is, if you find a penny, if you're having a rough, basically, it happens every time I have a rough day. Every time I'm having a rough day, I find a penny on the floor. And I know it's a sign from her, from the family friend's daughter. Because it happens with all my, we were really, they were really close friends with my little sister, like I said earlier. And we, the pennies were always show up when we're having a rough day. And when her, when her mom and her stepdad literally, like legit picked this up, you'll never guess what. You're probably gonna know what it is, but this fell from the top of it. A penny. And that's really touching because pennies from heaven, it throws, you probably know about, for those who are Christian faith, you know what that means. Yeah, they knew it was a sign that from their daughter, from their late daughter, slash stepdaughter, that they had, they had to give this to me. So. And they told me about that, I, when they told me about that, I literally felt so many emotions and almost cried. But I didn't because I had, I wanted to be strong for my little sister. 
So yeah. Basically, so yeah, the Entertainment Earth, Green Batman. It has to be my favorite back favorite Funko Pop. The Funko Pop with the best backstory of how I of when I of why I got of how I got it. So yeah. Sorry that I, sorry I had to end that on such an emotional note. It's just it's 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 my video, okay? And, and I get I, I don't know, I or I I I it in that order, so sorry about it. So yeah. Um I think that'll do for this video. Um yeah. I know this video went on, I rambled on a little bit too long, but I'm still trying to, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out some video ideas to make while I'm under quarantine. Excuse me. I had food before I did this, sorry. I think I'm great. So, excuse me, goodness. So I'm going to leave this video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like like you're dropping the bass. Wow, wow. And give the old scrub the old smack. And I'll see you for the nights in the next video. Toots!